Hello, I just wanted to show you this clever interface between a 49 year old uh, Geiger counter and an Apple iPad. Um, it's reading just uh, background radiation. It's uh, April 15th in Philadelphia and I don't think there's anything unusual going on particularly but um, I just uh, uh, got this application um, uh, few hours ago it's it's uh it was released a couple this version which just came out a couple days ago and um it's from Gagarbot. it's a, it's a it's an iphone app it's a, i happen to have it on my iphone ipad at the moment um and i'll show you okay here's the here's the manual for the um the victorine uh cdb 700 model 6b it was manufactured in 1962 um it was it's from Cleveland 3 Ohio um, this is virtually brand new because in 49 years it was never used or powered up it was in storage and I simply pop new batteries in it and it works pretty darn well and um, it's remarkable for such a machine to last that long and right now I have it set on times one there's times 10 and times 100 scales too but um, this picks up uh, for this very low radiation background radiation it um, there's nothing happening okay there there's the pulse um, and the scale is in both counts per minute and um, um, mil um, millirads um, per hour and the connection between the um, the iPad and the Geiger counter is simply um, the earphone headpiece that came with the Geiger counter is that happens to be resting over top the microphone for the iPad and so just through that it's able to keep count right now it's up to 6,043 45 um, counts total it's been running over two hours it's up to 30 counts per minute uh, on average over many many minutes over here is the probe. It's uh, uh, the Geiger counter. Um, the the Geiger tube itself is is uh, inside this probe, and right now the, the this uh, beta shield, this uh, brass beta shield, is closed, so it's only picking up gamma radiation instead of beta as well. Um, so, uh, what else? Okay. Uh, Currently, it's counting. It's on. It's in counts per minute. Um, it's it's an integration which does the most averaging. Um, there's the option of um, 15 seconds uh, for counting pulses, and there's uh, there's five seconds too, uh, which gives you the most um, variation and up to the minute of what's it really doing. Uh, it's it can vary quite a lot. Um, let's see what happens. It's there's no pulse at the moment. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes they come in rapid succession. Oh, come on. Anyway, we'll get back to that. Um, going back to counts per minute. Uh, integration. Um, on average. Okay, here we have some clicks happening. Um, you have the option of um, um, a, a, an estimate of exposure of um, millirems per hour, which is pretty close to the same um, scale as uh, millirads per hour on the original. It corresponds pretty well. Um, the other option is uh, micro sieverts. Uh, so this is suggesting that uh, uh, with this machine, we're getting um, a reading of uh, half a microsievert over an hour with background radiation. Um, so, back to counts per minute. Um, let's see what happens if I go back here again. It's clicking away. I'll just back to zero again. 12, 24, 48. Now, if it goes over 100, 
there's a little there's a little radiation sign that comes up that suggests that uh, it's a higher uh, level than before. And if it goes over maybe 125, I don't know if it will or not. Um, it will have a little warning in Russian, in red. Uh, sorry, I can't show that yet. But the main thing is that it, uh, uh, that on average, it's it's uh, it's it's uh, just background radiation, and it's not anything to worry about particularly. I think. So, um, I thought it'd be fun to show how simple and clever this. Uh, uh, new application is and um, it's it's designed specifically for these older analog um, Geiger counters. Um, you have to have a Geiger counter to work with it. So that's all for now and um, take care.